video that only tells part of a story right now, a story that is still being written tonight. But no matter what the final chapter is, this man's life is over from a fatal meeting and his family devastated. Thanks for joining us at 10 on air and wherever you're streaming. I'm Corey Stark. Samantha has the night off. That man's death appears to be over lawn care, a lawn care disagreement. And News 4 has video leading up to and after the clash. News 4's Ashley Lincoln is speaking to the victim's family about the shooting that happened in Glasgow Village in St. Louis County. Ashley is live following that investigation tonight. Ashley. That's right, Corey. The victim's family telling me tonight that this was a senseless act of violence. Again, as you mentioned, this was all over a yard debris dispute regarding grass that was cut from the neighbor's yard. Tonight, we're learning that police are reviewing surveillance camera from that home to figure out who's responsible for this shooting. Senseless. Four shots to the chest. Why? That's the question the fiance of Alan Waller says keeps her up at night. We were good people. Why? Waller, who's also a father, was gunned down in his driveway Sunday morning. All we did was, was go shopping for the kids and come home. His fiance, who didn't want a face shown for her safety, says after errands and coming home, Waller wanted to talk to the neighbor's landscapers about ongoing issues from them leaving their debris in his driveway. Home surveillance video shows the female neighbor walking two men to Waller's doorstep. After the men confirm, Waller takes them to the side of the house to show them the debris. His fiance says that side of the home doesn't have cameras. Within seconds of being out of frame, things go wrong. Eight seconds go by before you see the neighbor sprinting across her lawn. And soon after, a third man appears from behind a truck with a gun. Waller's fiance, who was inside the home with their children, describes the gunshots. I saw shh, whatever type of gun it was, that's the shots I heard. I went to go see my man. I see he's on the ground. I immediately went in to grab my phone to call 911. I reached out to St. Louis County Police who say they can't comment on where this investigation stands, but they do say detectives have an optimistic outlook on this case. So strong, but I just hurt my Two-year-old daughter cries for her daddy, screams for her daddy, kissing her daddy pictures because she missed him. And I also went to that neighbor's home to figure out who these landscapers are. That neighbor was not home. We did leave our card with our contact information. She, however, has not reached out to us since we left that neighborhood. We did find, however, from police that they are still actively investigating and they're encouraging the public if you have information on who these individuals are to contact their office. We'll have that information on our News 4 app. Live tonight in Clayton, Ashley Lincoln, News 4. Ashley. Peace, black family. Peace of love to the black family, black power. The streets watching TV back with another powerful video. Now, is that how we getting down? It's 2021. Ever since Trump been in office, I thought our eyes was a little bit more open to what's going on in the world. Why are we killing each other still? I mean, come on, man. We don't see that we at war with these race soldiers and these policies that they're creating every day. You know what I'm saying? How they're trying to oust us. They're giving the Asians um, a hate bill. Anyone that's against the Asians can be, you know, convicted of a hate crime. We've been in this country over 200 sub years and we still haven't been given any type of protection from the government, but the Asians somehow get protection. We need protection from each other, it seems like. We need protection from each other. See, the Minister Farrakhan say, how can he call a proper war against the oppressor when we killing each other? We always talk about Farrakhan, all he do is talk. All we do is kill each other. So every time we open up our mouth and fix our mouth to say something bad about somebody else, we got three fingers pointing back at ourselves. But I must say something. If somebody finds something wrong with me, say something. I don't care. I'm open for criticism. But I must say something. 
You know, this is where we bang on the beats. And the beats don't have no color. When I say bang on the beats, I mean banging on the demonic system in which we all live by now. You know, we've been over here so long in America, you know what I'm saying, around these people, we have became these people. Do we murder each other over line disputes? Do we have to carry a assault rifle and shoot one four times to the chest? See, when I bang, I bang for real. I got to bang. I got to tell the truth. There's no white man here. All I saw was two black men had a discussion and some particular party didn't like what someone was saying. I don't give a fuck what someone was saying. Don't give you the audacity to kill a person. It doesn't give you the right to kill anybody. Black on black crime in the 21st century is a corny thing to do, especially in this day and time. We need allies. We need more unity. All this killing each other, man, unnecessarily is stupid. Dude, you did this shit on camera. Dude, you're going to be caught here in a few days. I'm not burning bread on you, and I'm not the police. But dude, you did this on camera. You destroyed that man's whole family. His wife got to be a widow. He got three kids, on, won't have no father. And I'm pretty sure you have a mother, and you may have some kids. You may have some parents, loved ones that love you. You done jeopardized your whole life. Now you got to go to court. And you're going to be convicted because you've done it on camera. So with that being said, folks, we are in, in bad shape. We're at war on all four corners. And when I mean all four corners, everywhere you turn, we at war. We at war with white people. We at war with the Asians, the Arabs, and ourselves. We our worst enemy. Why do one has to die over a line dispute? I mean, come on, man. It's a shame. This is how anger clouds the judgment. Anger clouds your judgment. That's why when you get real angry, sometimes you got to count to 10, close your eyes, and think about what can happen if you further keep pushing the issue. I have a problem with a temper situation, but I have to close my eyes and meditate. Is it worth it? Of course, he probably told the man something he didn't like. But do you have to go get a gun? What happened to the old days of raising your fist and soccer punching a motherfucker? See, y'all don't know how to fight. I'm not encouraging no violence, but if you're going to use some violence, use your bare hands. The person that you have a, a dispute with, Ask them to come in the boxing ring. Set up a boxing ring in the ghetto. And let's put on the gloves and quit picking up the guns. Let's do that. Can we do that because we're aggressive people by nature? But why, why we always got to be aggressive towards self? But when it's time to be aggressive towards the ruling class, against these people who really hate us, our real enemies, we cowered up. We cower all the way the fuck up. I tell go between our legs when the police roll down. And I bet you, this brother, did y'all see come across the street with that assault weapon? When the police come, I bet he cowered down. He bowed down. So we only bad with each other. When it comes to being bad against the natural born enemy, we have learned to be subservient. Because that's how he taught you in the Bible. Love your enemy, no matter what he does to you. And he is the natural born enemy. I'm talking about the crow magnum man, the Neanderthal, the white man. He is our number one 
adversary. He has proven that time and time and time again. History doesn't lie. Up to this present time, the white man is still our enemy, and we are our number one enemy. How can we call a dialogue for war against the oppressor when we killing each other? Fam, mash up the lights. Y'all tell me, am I wrong to call out us when we wrong? Mash up the lights. Share this video. Streets watching.